Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today's topic are the 10, 10 things that uh, I feel will result in you having the uh, best, the best looking, the most vibrant uh, display in your fish. And uh, from time to time people um, are uh, commenting on how good the fish look and things of this nature. So I thought I'd share with you things that over over the years have uh, have proved to be uh, beneficial in helping fish to uh, be uh, the most uh, uh, the most vibrant and the most colorful. And uh, first and foremost, of course, is going to be uh, having pristine water, uh, being able to see your fish with the greatest amount of clarity. Now, um, a lot of things are involved in that, and uh, certainly there are additives and chemical filtrations, UV lights, uh, chemipure, purigen, uh, things of that nature. Uh, for me, over the years, I've, um, I've moved more and more away, away from those things and, uh, and, and relied more on, um, on really just running the water through uh, filtration, whether that's sponges, um, uh, floss, uh, pinky, uh, pinky floss, things of this nature, and and having the water uh, turn over and run through those uh, through those mediums uh, enough times through that medium uh, enough times to to result in water clarity. So water clarity, of course, is vital. Now uh, that brings me to point number two uh, to ensure that you have that water uh, clarity. Uh, you you need to have uh, clean panels, clean panels in your aquarium. What does that mean? That means that the inside of your of your aquarium, the uh, glass, uh, which will build up a film over time, needs to be uh, cleaned periodically. And uh, that would be, of course, with with pads, uh, with uh, uh, mag floats, things of this nature that you can use to keep the panels clean. Now, when you do that, be sure also to add to your routine the cleaning of the top of your aquarium. Because if you're like, like me and, and most, most people, your light, uh, the lighting of your tank is going through whatever that top panel is. And that top panel can develop uh, a mineral buildup, it can develop a film, and so be sure that you clean the top of your aquarium along with the, uh, the front and side panels of your aquarium. Okay, so um, the next point that ties into that, of course, is lighting. And uh, you want to have good quality, full spectrum lighting. Uh, I've had very good experience with the Beamswork uh, lights, and uh, I've been very happy with them. On this one behind me here, I have a 72 inch Beamswork, and uh, I've been very happy with those lights. Uh, but, you know, whatever light that you find, get a good quality light, one that will uh, light the entirety of the tank and and help the uh, the colors to really pop in your fish so uh, I like lights that provide a full spectrum and also add perhaps some blue some green some red and uh, that's worked very well for me uh, next uh, number three uh, good quality food uh, food is uh, I feel helps to keep the fish healthy a healthy fish is going is going to display better uh, better colors. A healthy fish displays better color. I mean, that just makes sense. So uh, don't cut corners on your food. Uh, go with food that, that is uh, not full of fillers and, um, you know, things like uh, that really uh, have no place in food. Uh, lots of preservatives, lots of uh, uh, color, uh, you know, additives, things of this nature. Um, I, I use a variety of food. I use uh, products from uh, Cobalt, products from uh, Omega One, uh, Northfin, uh, Zoomed. I use a whole variety of products. I do uh, give my fish variety. I also give them, uh, these fish behind me here get frozen krill uh, once a week as a treat. So um, I use variety and I use high quality. Okay, that will help the fish to uh, display color, mostly because they're healthy. They're not gonna be drab and washed out because they're, uh, uh, they're sick or battling illness. Um, next, uh, be sure that you have uh, good 
quality stock to begin with. And by that, what I mean is, um, if, if, you're, if you're looking for a, a, a show fish, if you're looking for a, a fish that's gonna really pop, uh, go to somebody who is reputable and, and, and buy from a breeder that, uh, that is, has a good reputation and a breeder that has quality fish, uh, F1 uh, fish, uh, things of this nature. Um, I've had great luck with the Wonder of Cichlids, Live Fish Direct, Cunningham. Um, these folks have given me good fish. Uh, Imperial Tropicals actually have given me great fish. So um, go to a quality breeder that will give you some uh, good, good quality fish and, um, and start with good stock because if you have a fish that is uh, uh, really not entirely what it's supposed to be, it actually has a bit of a hybrid mixed into it, unless you're going for that, like you're going for an OB or something like that that is a hybrid. But if you're going for pure stock, uh, go with a good breeder that you can trust. Uh, next, uh, try and keep the stress of your fish down. And uh, lots of ways to do that. Uh, certainly try and control aggression, uh, remove fish that are overly aggressive, uh, you know, be sure to uh, put your tank mates together correctly. So do a little research before you acquire fish. Don't mix fish that shouldn't be together and um, really ensure that the tank mates are right. Uh, don't mess with the tank so much that you, um, that you create a stressful situation. Uh, stress can also, of course, can occur from aggression, from fish being bullied, uh, from fish being low in the pecking order, uh, for example, in the tank behind me, even though he's not being picked on, the uh, polystigma is not going to be uh, uh, showing a lot of color because if he did, the uh, venusus would, would go on the attack. So the polystigma stays with his uh, normal pattern, which I like. I like that pattern, so I'm not complaining too much. But he, he will uh, not go into a full blue-green polystigma dress because the venusus is the boss. <clears throat> the uh, the uh, trout, the Malawi trout behind me that you can see right here uh, was very blue and uh, blue-green in the 100 where he was more dominant. When he came to the 150, he washed out to a certain degree. Still a beautiful fish, but uh, because of the tank mates, you're not gonna get that that um, that beautiful overwhelming color that that you would get normally. So tank mates and um, you know the hierarchy of the tank will have a lot to do with the color that is being displayed. So uh, keep the stress down. Uh, don't uh, mess with your tank. Go in there and redecorate every few days. Uh, swap out the gravel every few days. Uh, do a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, you're probably better off letting it go for a little while. And uh, same thing with water changes. You can go to 90% water changes. That can be stressful for a fish if the pH uh, or temperature, let's say, is very different when you replace the water. That can be stressful. You might be better off going to a 20, 30% water change every two weeks instead of a 90% every week. So uh, again, balance and things to keep in mind. Uh, next, uh, probably goes without saying, proper filtration. And what is filtration? Okay, filtration is simply running the water uh, through something and over something that's gonna give you a desired result. So proper filtration. What is the proper tank turnover? How many times should you be running uh, this tank through the sponge filters, the, uh, the Swiss tropical porridge sponges that I put in in the sump? How many times should the water go through that? Uh, some people say 10 times an hour. Some people say that 10 times an hour is too much for the biological bacteria to really do anything. But isn't the biological bacteria going to be working regardless, otherwise it would die off, right? So it's gonna be doing its thing one way or the other, but uh, uh, you know how much turnover is the sweet spot? That, uh, so again, play with that. Uh, find what is the right amount of turnover and, and make sure your water is filtered properly so that you have what I mentioned originally, pristine water that allows you to, to see the fish uh, completely uh, and uh, with, in cl with clarity. Uh, 
Now, also keep in mind, and this is something that I'll talk about in another video, but um, acrylic, like the tank behind me, an acrylic tank is actually going to be um, more see-through, less opaque than a glass tank, believe it or not. So um, if you really want those uh, fish floating in air, consider acrylic as a type of tank. Um, next is uh, stay on a scheduled maintenance. And by that, what I mean is uh, once you come up with a routine that is keeping your tank looking great, uh, stick with that routine. Always stick with your scheduled maintenance. That's important. And, uh, and, and last, last is uh, the, proper, the proper size of the tank. A tank that is too small is actually by virtue of being too small is going to be uh, is going to be producing stress. Uh, these fish, uh, especially these kinds of fish that you see here, they need uh, they need room to swim. With a fish like a venusus or a trout, uh, you need at least six feet, where um, and ideally more. If I could if I could get more, I would here in this space. You need room for them to to dart dart around, swim, get away from other fish, and uh, be able to uh, have a space that is that they can hang out in without stress. So the proper size tank is vital. And if you have these points, if you have each of these points in place, and, um, and you know, you're staying on your maintenance, you have a good size tank, you're feeding them good food, you have proper water turnover, water that is being filtered, and you're feeding them quality food, you're going to have fish that really pop like the ones that I've been showing, showing you during the course of this video. Okay, so those are my 10 points. I've, uh, I've gone through them very, very quickly so as not to have a 20, 30 minute video. And I hope you get something out of this. And please go ahead and comment below, hit that bell and, uh, and join the Convo Gang your conversations are very interesting to me and other people that read them. And uh, be sure to pick up a t-shirt. You can see them advertised below here. And, uh, or a sweatshirt or a tank top since summer is here. And thank you so much for tuning in. You are greatly appreciated as always. That's all for me.